YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I have got a Real McCoy's t-shirt today to review. It's the Loop World Athletic Tee. So let's get right into it. So I really don't have to tell you guys who the Real McCoy's are. Some of the Real McCoy's items on my channel are the most popular videos that I've ever put up. It seems that in this kind of niche category of clothing, the Real McCoy's is super, super popular. You always see people looking for reviews and, the, and any reviews always do quite well. So I kind of debated if I really wanted to buy this t-shirt, but I do have an upcoming t-shirt episode that I'm going to include it in as well. But I thought I'd give it a video for itself just to sort of show you guys because I know people will be looking to buy this shirt as well as quite a popular t-shirt. Now this is the Real McCoy's Loop Wheeled Athletic Tee. Now it's not to be confused with the Real McCoy's uh, two pack. They have a they have another t-shirt where they do in uh, two pack, but it's um, that's not Loop Wheeled I don't think. This is Loop Wheeled. So when we're talking about Loop Wheeling, uh, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, uh, loop wheeling is the way they uh, put this fabric together using machines from the 1920s up until the, well, the machines were from the 1920s to the 1960s. But due to fast fashion and kind of efficiencies, they got rid of those machines. But essentially what those machines did was take the fabric and then they used gravity to drop it down to form uh, the fabric in a tubular kind of motion, right? Uh, it meant that there was no tension, there was no pulling of the fabric. And it meant everything just sat uh, with gravity. And so the items that you get one, they have no side seam because it was done in a tube, uh, tubular motion or tu tubular knitting, but they've also feel really soft and really plump because they haven't been stretched during that process. So this is a loop wheeled t-shirt. Now the Real McCoy's uh, Japanese brand that try to replicate things to the original um, contracts or the original way they were back in the, you know, in the 50s or 40s. They like that Americana kind of uh, feel and look so this fit is quite boxy I would say and I'll go into that in a minute now <laughs> I want to talk about the fabric now everywhere online where you see this and this is on all the websites that sell this and there's not many there's, there's real McCoy's there's standard and strange there's I think end clothing or something like that all of them say this is a heavyweight tee heavyweight fabric now I think I think m me more than most people are in the position where I can comment on weights of fabrics. Now I couldn't find the weight of this fabric anywhere. There's not, it wasn't listed that anywhere I can see, but compared to all the other t-shirts or other t-shirts that I have from the likes of Studio Dardison, from UES, from, you know, Ironheart, etc., this is not heavy weight. So when you're paying a premium and again, we'll get onto price in a minute, uh, you will, I kind of expect if they're saying it's heavyweight, then it to be quite heavyweight. Like the Mers B one I've got the other week is is so heavy. That is a thick, thick shirt. And I, honestly, I don't feel like this is. This is really thin and almost see-through in, in kind of nature. The credit I will give though is, honestly, out of all the t-shirts I have, and I've got that, what about eight from that previous video, which I'll put the link above. Uh, you can go look at those t-shirt reviews. And I've got about seven or eight new ones coming included this in the next video. Uh, but out of all those t-shirts that I have, this is the softest one out of the bag. Honestly, it is so soft. Uh, and so, you know, the loop willing that they did uh, and the fabric or the cotton they use is just, uh, is really, really good. It's such a really soft tee, but it's not heavyweight. So a really soft tee with a really loose fit for me anyway, uh, and a really soft fabric, sometimes can give you the impression that it's not, or give me the impression that it's not that sturdy and that it's uh, not gonna last that long. It's really hard to convey that feeling uh, or into words. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it doesn't seem like a sturdy shirt that's gonna stand the test of time, if that makes sense. In terms of the shirt, it's super white. It's not natural at all. It's so bright white, which is really good. It's super soft as well. It is loop wheeled. I'll just take it open. It is loop wheeled, so it will uh, shrink back to the to the same size what it should do after you've worn it. So obviously, when you wear a shirt, it sort of stretches a little bit, and then when you wash it or loop wheeled anyway, it should shrink back to what the original size was. Now, there's nothing really major about it other than it's got the American Athletic Co. Los Angeles, so they're reproducing the old shirt. Uh, and, and that's really it. Now, what I mean about that fabric being, doesn't feel like it's sturdy, it came in really soft, right? So it's really soft. And you know what I mean by this is, 
When you have a shirt or an item of clothing that you've worn over and over and over and over again, and you look, get it in the light and you see all those, that kind of furry bobbleness of it, this is what this kind of feels like already. Uh, so it's kind of got that, I don't know if it's meant to be like an old kind of authentic used feel to it, if I can use that word. Um, so I don't, I don't know what to make of it, if I'm honest, but it is definitely not heavyweight, put it that way. It's quite neppy as well. So what I mean by neppy is it's quite coarse and uneven in the, in the, 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 um, the weaving, but it does sit quite nice. And I, look, I must admit, I'm giving it a bit of grief, but I've worn it once and washed it once and it's super comfortable. It's really nice to wear but how long it's gonna last, anyone's guess, and I don't know if it's gonna be that long, to be honest. So, the feel's good, F fabric feels amazing, right? It is the most softest tee I've ever had uh, out of all the tees I've got. The fit is very vintage American, kind of boxy, so it's not slim fit or tailored or anything like that. Uh, it's quite breezy, if that makes sense, uh, as well. So, uh, if you're looking for a really tight, you know, t-shirt that's fitted, this isn't for you. Now, I've talked about everything bar the price. This in the UK was 95 pounds from uh, the Real McCoy store. Throw on the shipping now. Paying this is this is my grief here. So I pay you pay 95 pounds online, but they charge you 595 five pounds 95 to ship it. I know there's shipping costs involved in everything, but I live in London. The shops in London. I could have gone and got it, but just I, I hate it when shops charge you an arm and a leg for an item, an expensive item, but then charge you a lot for shipping. So in the UK, $5.95 to ship something that is really light, not heavyweight, really light. That It doesn't cost $5.95 to ship this. And it, like, it didn't come in, in any kind of fancy shipping either. It came in, it came in its bag, which is this. And it, and it, and then that was put inside a really thin envelope like you get it from Amazon, you know, these little cardboard envelope things. That was it. That does not cost £5.95. So that really rubs me the wrong way. Uh, you can get this a lot cheaper though. So uh, end clothing have them for 75 pounds and I think you can get free shipping with those guys. The only reason I couldn't get this from them is because they didn't have the large in size uh, in, the, in the white, I wanted the white, but they did have it in the black and the gray. So if your size is in stock, go to end clothing first uh, and they probably give you a better deal. But uh, yeah, there are a few of my gripes with the that. So the price overall came in at like 105 pounds or something. So is that worth that? I don't think it is. Honestly, I don't think it's worth that. If you're looking, if you're, uh, you know, a real McCoy's fanboy and you love everything, their, their stuff, but you want to get this and you haven't got it yet. I'm telling you now there are better shirts out there, uh, that are, are cheaper. Honestly, that's just my opinion, but I, I honestly, and stay tuned because I will do a video in the coming weeks with all these shirts. And like I said, go back to my previous one. I'll see if I can put it up here again. And you will see that there are some shirts there. Uh, so for 105 pounds, which is just like what, like $200 or something. Um, I just don't think the value is there, but you know, I, I took the plunge so you guys don't have to really. So that's it really, just a short one. It's a very important brand and t-shirt. So I thought I'd give it a uh, stage. So. Um, let me know what you guys think. And I'm sure some of you guys out there have uh, some Real McCoy t-shirts. How have they held, like honestly, I know I ask questions a lot, but I really, really want to know how they've held up because it doesn't seem like it's going to hold up that much. Uh, but I'd be re really interested to know if any of you guys have the Athletic Loop Wheel T in any of the colors. How's it held up? What did you think of the value and the price? Uh, and that's it really. Uh, if you enjoyed that, give me a comment and a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, and I know there's a lot, like 75% of my viewers are not subscribed, I'd highly recommend you subscribe because I have a giveaway in the coming weeks. Uh, some t-shirt giveaways actually, not this t-shirt, but I do have some t-shirts to give away in the next couple of weeks. So you need to be subscribed for that. So I would hit the subscribe button if uh, I were you. Uh, with all that being said, have a great day guys and we'll see you in the next one.